Now, how do y'all feel about collaborative process in comedy? There is like nowadays like the fact, just the fact that everything is that now to me is cool because I think a lot of these things, you know, you have a band, but at the end of the day, it's like kind of a solo pursuit, right? You yeah, know, like yeah, for sure, yeah, of course. Like so, that's almost like lonely, yeah. and I think as you get older like that gets like less fun so the fact that there's this whole part of it that now it's kind of you know a podcast is kind of like a band like you right. know what i mean or a, yeah. yeah you are, you're all you know like when i uh when i see like another guy that makes youtube sketches that i like it's like yo let's do something right. which is a before i don't think it really you know it's almost like kind of new right in a lot of ways yeah i thought i thought hip hop always I had th that to I, th some I thought it was a game changer whenever i started seeing like podcast touring yeah, I thought that was the coolest shit it's ever. Crazy, right? Like when I was watching podcasts sell out fucking comedy clubs and doing two shows in a night. Yeah, we have a friend like, in, in Montreal who th sold out the Bell Center, which is like where the Montreal Canadiens play for a podcast. Jeez. Twenty thousand people. <laughs> God. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. But he's like the biggest that, guy in uh, Quebec. Also, that must be like the fucking worst thing to watch ever. <laughs> oh, <it's, laughs> yeah. like, like, obviously, yeah. that is that is the one thing Dude, that Dude, it's literally like this up. table on the stage. It's just, just like the tiniest stage. <laughs> and they're just like, and then just surrounded 360. Even it's watching like a comedian it's in it's an incredible. arena, unless they have the pyro, it's very like Kevin Hardy. It's kind of like, oh, this is sick, but like, it's way worse. Yeah. Whereas watching like an artist in a big place, like, it can be actually awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, what well, you could, what I like about artists, you get big production. So it's like yeah. you said, like unless they bring a big production, like the bigger the like we scale production. Dancers. Up. Yeah, it's <laughs> like we scale like the Bridgestone show this year. When I play the Bridgestone Arena, I'm gonna have like the sickest production. Oh, that's when I played the Ryman last year. I built a trailer park Ryman's on stage awesome. in a car, literally. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, I, a I built a car. Oh, really? I, yeah. We had I to. Stood on the hood. They, they, yeah, fucking, fucking really? nuts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's <laughs> fucking crazy, dude. We full blown had to like fucking built a car in a trailer park on stage like i take the production side of that side of it so serious oh, uh, and what, what are you doing sorry for the 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 other one the bridgestone. Yeah, bridgestone? It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's december 9th bridgestone i think i think we just opened up 1500 obstructed view tickets whoa so if anybody wants them help yeah. me out. oh i'm sure they'll go you guys got yeah. lots of pyro too he was saying you guys are oh getting... yeah no we're gonna catch it on fire tonight <laughs> i couldn't believe they let us do it in vegas uh, no, well, that's covered, i could not believe you yeah, yeah, it yeah it was like Six but flames. still i wasn't expecting you know what I mean? Yeah, I guess Vegas don't to give a, a shit. You know, yeah, fuck it. I mean, we put six full. It's gonna be like real fire. <laughs> do, you, do you have anyone that you like have to run anything by, or are you just straight up like? Do you do you call a guy? You're like, you'll figure this out. I want some fire. Yeah, no, but yeah, we, you know, we got a big team. That we got a huge team. So is that I'm, what I'm you jealous of y'all podcasting, motherfuckers, boy. <laughs> Y'all's team be like it's in so this room hard. right now. Yeah, we have like a backpack yeah. and yeah. like <laughs> yeah. it's crazy. Louis Z.K. could travel to arena yeah. and you can come with a backpack. It's yeah. so funny. Here's a no, it, it's, it's fucking a it's, mic. It's, it's, it's so frustrating. I went to go see <laughs> Steve Byrne and, and Joe Gatto the other day <laughs> yeah. at Balboa because Byrne went on before we played at Soma in San Diego. Okay, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go see Byrne because I think Byrne's the funniest dude ever. Anyway, so fun. And I'm and I'm watching and I'm like so jealous from the beginning because I go downstairs. There's three green rooms. It's three comedians, one in each green room. Like there's fucking four buses of us. I know as I, out there right now and fucking like three tractor trailer yeah. trucks. I'm like these motherfuckers. <laughs> and I'm like and they're you know they um, they could have sold as many tickets as me. They played a smaller venue with higher ticket sale, like an old you know like yeah. And I'm just so fucking mad. I'm just like fucking. I got to drag this fucking drunk drug addict guitar player. Dude, when you everywhere. see if someone sitting up like, drums, you know <laughs> setting up drums and tuning drums, yeah. Oh, so and that dude got paid worse. for it. A lot of money, yeah. like <laughs> quite like a fucking substantial <laughs> amount of fucking. Money. I'm like I could fucking figure this out. Split? Yeah. <laughs> No, and he does it twice a day. Yeah. He'll set them up, <laughs> ting them, take them the fuck down. I'm like, dude, there's no way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, fucking, how much does that guy cost again? You know what I'm saying? I'm what like, a Jesus better Christ. business model. Yeah, yeah, y'all <laughs> shit is so, you just show up and set up a little podcast, three little cameras, and fucking one lady back there, and a dude that's just standing there as a formality. I don't even know what the fuck he's here for. You know what I'm saying? You'd be in that fucking, yeah. Liquid IV deal is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's here just to help y'all's hangover. <laughs> we do have a weed guy. Oh, I will oh yeah, say. you got. Well, you're I mean, if you're gonna have that many have buses, cutter? have some luxuries. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, do you have a hair? Do you have a hairdresser that travels? No, with you? no. We'll fly. We'll fly him out. We'll fly him. Okay, out. you fly. So like every dresser. two weeks, we'll fly him in. Like he'll meet us the night before Red. And then you have a guy that just sm just does weed. He's just doing weed. Rolls like like. What is he doing? He rolls for you? Yeah, he rolls. Really? Yeah, yeah. He's like our little in-house drug Yoda. 
Uh, you know what I mean? Does he have to look busy so he like makes himself useful? He's always like, <laughs> no, 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 he knows what. <laughs> he always crushing no. up weed. Like I don't, he's got care. I don't care if he don't do nothing but sleep all day as long as we know where to weed. But he's always with us anyway. So. But he, I feel like the job of the weed guy would be done for his day where he's like, well, here it is. Anyway, yeah. he's like, no, well, what he, then he, he, he also doubles as a drug guy, and sometimes that turns into a late night shift. Yeah, uh, you know <laughs> <laughs> so you never just really know which. Is way he like the make happen. it happen guy? He's the like, you know. We're like, he's the dude that I trust him. Like, he's been doing touring with me a long time. We've yeah. been friends for like 15 years. And he knows like a lot of shamans. So like, I know the mushrooms are good. When he shows you up with shamans? acid. Yeah, when he shows up with acid, I know it's family acid. Yeah, it's yeah. like Grateful Dead family, yeah, real yeah. deal, GFD. Yeah, I love that shit. It's the top fucking 50-year-old acid, 40-year-old yeah, yeah. acid, like dead ass. So he's also the guy that has the test strip. Yeah. So if the boys want to get really crazy, you know, he's the homie that... Ch- ch- Okay, no, we're cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you feel Does me? He wear, like, like a lab coat. And he's stuff? that Does guy. He might as well. <laughs> he's like our little boy. Really but let me tell you something. When you come, up, I hope you please come see the show. Oh, we're coming. Y'all, y'all got time? Yeah. So it. whenever you're not, I, it won't take you two seconds to find him. You'll meet the whole crew and be like, "That's him," because he yeah. doesn't. You know what Does I mean? Like, like, he's like the a only thing lot. about it is, if I was trying to be obscure from the police with my drug guy. I fucked up because yeah. <laughs> if I was the police I would pass my whole 30 person crew and just beeline to this guy you know what I'm saying sir does can he, we see your big pack backpack please sir does he look like he's like a fish lot dude he just looks like a hippie yeah 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 you know what I mean uh, like the like way a, he wears his hat hat like pins fucking big socks with weed leaves on totally, him and shit he's that guy you've seen him yeah yeah, Blown glass yeah. medallion oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just I mean, I, mean I, I go to like fish yeah, yeah. concerts like dead concerts yeah. like I've seen him 20 times before yeah he might exactly you've seen him you guess he like nitrous tanks and stuff yeah Yes. Yeah. yeah, we'll whip it. Yeah. We don't say no much. Yeah. 